again, a- another dragon armor. I just, <laughs> how many of these are we gonna get? All right, I, let's let's evaluate all the stuff we're gonna jump right in. Um, first off, I mean, you guys know what's coming. Okay, wait, wait, this is a great thing though. Like, are they, they're, they're, they're gonna give these once a month. <laughs> I mean, that's what it looks like, right? It's a dragon stone. I'm not sure we needed a dragon stone one first, but still, that's really cool. I, I, she looks great. I mean, I Robin looks absolutely fantastic. I was just talking about legendary Robin um, in the last legendary tier list that I just did, and how it, it, she was tough. And here we are with a better version. <laughs> Arcane Grima, this is our arcane weapon. We get slaying, uh, we get Omni plus five to unit during combat. Unit makes a guaranteed follow-up attack, fantastic. Deals damage equals 15% of unit's attack, including when dealing damage with a special triggered before combat. Uh, that's, that is very nice. Um, and restore seven HP to unit after combat. So you've got survivability, you've got true damage, you've got an auto follow-up, and you've got buffs, uh, along with slaying. Like, all of that, all of that is really, really good. Um, I, I mean, that's, <laughs> it, it's tough to understate that. Like, this, this is really, really good. Dragon High, here is the skill. Like, this is, this is what sets this unit apart neutralizes effective against armored bonuses. That's huge. This is exactly what makes Ascendant Athun so good. Um, I wanna see the stats on this unit so, so badly. Uh, if foe initiates combat or if foe's HP is greater than 75%, inflicts attack speed defense res minus eight. That's that's an enormous, enormous amount of stat gem. And remember, this is adaptive damage. <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, it, so that, that's, it can take advantage of all those stats, um, really take advantage of whatever's weaker and make it even, yeah. Grant, special cooldown charge plus one, so we get a breath effect as well. This is a lot of stuff, and particularly on dragons that have that distant seal, this is very, very good. Hardy Fighter, we needed this on a unit so, so badly. Did we need this on another arcane unit? No. Um, attack speed, near save three. Listen, I'm always going to try to rank these as Far Saviors because I think the value of Far Saviors is so much higher than Near Saviors, just flat out. Um, I don't run a Near Savior almost ever. Uh, I just, uh, th this is gonna be a good one. And I mean, attack speed, there's a possibility this is a speedy armor. And we really, we really only have a few of those. Um, I don't know how exactly that's gonna play out. I'm really interested. We have the guaranteed follow-up, but then we have attack speed near save. I don't know, I need to see the stats. Like this this is a unit that stats matter. Um, let's get on. <laughs> like I, I could talk about this unit a lot longer. Um, colorless as well, which is excellent for an armor. Um, you're more interested in survival with an armor than you are with actually killing. God, that looks good. That looks so good. Okay. This is less exciting. <laughs> oh, so another awakening character, Gregor. I'm. <clears throat> Solid ground four. Uh, grants, attack defense plus seven, flicks res minus five. This is not as useful as um, as the attack res counterpart to this, but this is, it's interesting. And I mean, it's, it's nice to have on a unit. Infantry null follow-up. As, as fodder, this is amazing. Let me just flat out say though, uh, you just, it, yeah, that's, <laughs> never mind. Infantry null follow-up, this is a very good skill. Um, yeah. <laughs> yeah. This is fodder that was previously only on Celica, I believe. 
So if you wanted it there and you couldn't get it, now's your chance. Blade of Favors, we're going back now because I'm, this is okay. Uh, accelerate special trigger cooldown minus one. Um, that start of player phase or enemy phase. If any foes within are within three rows and three columns, they all get minus attack speed defense. Minus six. It's 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 nice. And then this unit gets plus six, which so that's a stat swing of twelve points. Um, yeah. If unit initiates combat or is within two spaces of an ally, inflicts penalty on foes, attack speed defense during combat equals five plus any current penalty on each of those stats. Um, we've seen this before. This is a good effect. Um, and reduces damage from foe's first attack during combat by 40%. If you hear in my voice the pause here on this unit, it's that sword infantry units are a crazy hard thing to break into. It is nuts. And this unit is not breaking into anything. Um, yeah. You can probably build up this unit, you can probably make them very capable, but as far as them being like tip top tier, uh, this is this is not gonna be that unit. Um, again, if you're a Gregor fan, I, you can make this work very easily. Um, melee specialist, I, I think you can do a lot of fun things with this unit. And you can see the minus 11 across the board. Like there's, there's a big stat swing you can get off of this unit. A Pegasus Knight? A Pegasus Knight. I just, do we even stop here? Why? Rain Lance. Next. Pegasus, Lance Knight. I just, uh, uh, Lance Flyer rather. I. <laughs> How many of these are they gonna do? I thought they were done with these. Okay, okay, get to something interesting here. This is, <laughs> this is something. We've already seen this. Her art looks incredible. Like it looks really, really good. So green dagger cavalry unit. Um, we already know what this unit is going after, right? I mean, this is like, go try to get brave Hector. <laughs> How many of these are we gonna get? Um, uh, Amir, ever living. So this is interesting. Uh, it, so we get the slang effect. If unit initiates combat or foes range equals two grants. Attack speed, defense, res plus five. That's nice. During combat and bonus to units, attack equals 40% of the current HP of the ally with the second lowest HP. This is huge, right? I mean, the, the understanding this, it takes a PhD almost. I, but basically, you take the second unit with uh, the unit with the second highest HP. You multiply times 0.4, and that's the attack you get to add on. That is not true damage. That's extra attack. Um, there are ways that this can sometimes be better. Um, one example, along with the slang, you can put heavy blade on this unit, and. Because of that stat swing, she meets those heavy blade checks much, much easier. It's something I'm doing right now with Flame Tana. Uh, it, she is very fun to use because of the because of the stat swing that adds on directly to attack. You get to add, you get to your special quicker. Um, so heavy blade is probably what you're going to want to run in this in this uh, seal. Um, yeah, uh, it, it's it's a good unit. Um, I'm not a huge fan of ranged calves. Um, I know that's weird because I am a huge fan of ranged melee units. <laughs> but I, I, I like I like my fly, I, I like my range unit fly, as flyers. Uh, but anyway, I, we've got some other interesting things here. This is still good. This is very, very good. Uh, but if you've played against her in the Tempest Trials, like it's, it's not a unit that just absolutely stomps you. Um, it, it can be built up. This unit can be very formidable. Yeah. If you like air, which I do, I love air, this is a good unit to have. Mystic Boost 4, let's just skip straight to it. This is crazy. So we get an extra attack minus five during, attack minus five during combat on the foe, yeah. Uh, disables foe's skills that calculate 
uh, damage using, so it disables adaptive damage, it disables the, uh, the wrathful staff. If foe uses staff, neutralizes effects that prevent units counterattack during combat and restores 10 HP to unit after combat. Okay, so this is, I mean, this is a Dragon Slayer unit. That's that's neat. But did we really, I mean, why not just go full Null Counter Disrupt? <laughs> Would it really have changed that much? Null Counter Disrupt just, it needed, it needs a boost anyway. Why couldn't it have been a mystic one? <laughs> I like this skill. I don't love it. Um, it's, there will be units, if your unit uses Mystic Boost well, it's going to use this skill well. I mean, that, that's, that's the, the long and short of it. There are so many other B skills that you want to use. The difference, of course, is this one scores. If you're not a dragon, this is probably better than the other one. Well, it's definitely better than the other one if you're an offensive unit. But, yeah, I'm not, I'm not in love with this. Like, it, it's good. Um, and then we have Sparkling Boost. At start of turn, restores 10 HP to ally that has been dealt the most damage. I, this is also very good to have. Um, we've seen this, unless you're running some sort of Gale Force Wings of Mercy strategy, and then it's terrible. <laughs> but other than that, this is a very good skill to have. I like this unit. I'm just, I'm not, I'm not over the moon. I'm, and I kind of wanted to be. Art's great. Art's fantastic. And this is a very good unit. Um, we've got one more little thing here. They're adding a unit to the uh, the three and four star pool. So we have Cervantes, Invincible General, as the DHB. I fun stuff. Um, and then we have this extra unit here, Rickin. <laughs> I'm curious to see the skills in the stat line. Um, we are. We're to a point where you really want to pay attention to the stat line, I, it, seriously, because as they continue to add more of these uh, arcane weapons, we're going to get more and more interesting things. Um, oh, we did want to see this. This just, in case you were wondering, yes, it is inheritable to dragons. <laughs> I know, huge surprise. I really wanted them to spoil the stats. I wanted so badly. I watched this like seven times looking for the stats, but no. <laughs> oh man. Let's hop right to it, folks. Far Saviors. The, the, the chart that is just my nemesis, right? Um, I did some rearranging on here as promised. I need to see the stat line. I need to see it so badly. Like it, it made it may completely change where this unit is. Um, she'll go up, not down. Uh, I, this is a very good unit. I mean, she's not armor effective. Like that is, as far as far saviors go, that is the number one thing you're gonna face, right? I mean, dual crom is everywhere. Uh, the unit has a couple things going for her. Um, obviously, colorless is really nice. Um, already has Hardy Fighter, which I know doesn't play into the tier list, but is also really nice. But guys, that A skill, like minus eight to everything, and <laughs> yeah, it's like Fallen Shield, but way better. <laughs> I just, I don't even know. Um, that and a breath effect. Like, it's a lot of things in one. It, this is a very, very good unit. And I am worried again because they keep giving us good dragon far saviors. And I, I'm just, when does the other shoe drop here? This is another one that's not armor effective. So I, I mean, Deirdre stocks just went up. Yeah, summoners, I, I don't even know. When you look at the far saviors ahead of her, they have definite issues. Um, you have to build a special team around Kane. I mean, it, it, it's, yeah, Mufasa needs a special beast team in order for him to activate his full, his full kit, uh, which is a big deal. Um, I mean, you guys saw, I, Duma is, Duma is weak to blues, dragons, and armor effective damage. That's a lot of weaknesses. Uh, it is, that is a ton. 
And I, I know not necessarily every blue unit is going to be able to just smash him, but uh, summoners, I mean, <laughs> this is a colorless dragon and she doesn't have the same deep, uh, she doesn't have the same, uh, <laughs> she doesn't have a lot of the same uh, uh, damage reduction, but she just has straight debuffs, which against a lot of the units that are good versus Duma, that's a big deal. Duma's damage reduction, it, it hinges a lot on having higher res. Um, and you get to Dragon Slayers, and that's just, yeah. <laughs> he gets smacked hard because they have high res. It completely negates the damage, redu the damage reduction. Whereas this is going to be Hardy Fighter, so you get special base damage reduction, um, which of course you can put on Duma. But it, you get special base damage reduction and you get these just flat debuffs. It, this, is, this is a great unit. Um, the only thing that she doesn't have that's kind of important is wary. But you're gonna have, to, and I have to see the stats. Uh, you're gonna have to outspeed her though in order to get that double. And if she's fast, that may not be a thing. And you can see, I mean, this unit could be a lot of different places. This is where her starting point is though. Um, she could go lower if she just had abysmal res. <laughs> but I, I don't think it's gonna happen. I mean, I, yeah. The, the, I guess the other thing, she could have such a balanced stat line that it just, Summoners, we have to see the stats. This is where I've got her right now. Um, let's move on to hmm, Gregor. I'm not high on this unit. Um, I know he gets a lot of stats, a lot of stat swings. Every other unit on this list is special in some way. Like truly special. And this unit is not. Um, I, I'm not impressed with this unit. I just... If you need to, if, if you love Gregor, you can build him and you can make him work, I promise you. But I, he's not, look at these other units. Look at what they've been giving us. He doesn't, he doesn't hit it. <laughs> like tier three, easy. Why, why? Another Lance Flyer, I just, why? Tier three, next. This is an interesting one and air depends a lot on what you need. I, I definitely don't have her higher than Tana and, and uh, Nina. Uh, it just, uh, she's not there. But she is right in that range with Byleth. Like, I've got her a little bit above, but depending on your needs, she could flip-flop a bit. So keep that in mind. And for all of you, get your fingers off, that key off those keyboards. <laughs> Thor is an excellent nuke in Summoner Duels when she has Catria support. That is a very, very tight window. <laughs> She's an amazing support unit. Amazing support unit in a combination of that. But still, tier three, go away. Um, yeah, Summoners, that is it for this. <laughs> I hope you guys are doing well. Keep in mind, these tier lists are a work in progress. It is a, it is a weird thing to rank these while <laughs> <laughs> while they're being released before we see stats. It's something that I believe holds a lot of value, but I very much welcome in the comments. Let me know if you if you think these are right, if, what placements you think are wrong. Again, work in progress, I want feedback. So let me know. Let me also know if you're summoning on this banner. Take care and schedule an appointment with your fail is just real soon.